They were abandoned outside a volunteer's front door one day in a cardboard box. Two baby boys from an unwanted litter, I guess, like millions of others like them everywhere in the world. Bo and Cole, as we named them, grew up together. They were identical. They had all the kidness of the puppyhood and all the attention they needed. We started telling them apart in a few weeks. Bo was darker with floppy ears, Cole's fur was lighter and his ears just couldn't decide whether they'd stand up or remain floppy. Especially one of them just kept being indecisive. The appearance was not their only difference though. Bo was social and Cole was reserved. And the more the time went by, the more reserved he'd appear. They were growing up together in the same environment. They were fostered and trained by one of the most knowledgeable people I know when it comes to dogs. They had the same stimulation, the same training, and yet they were just different. Neither of them was ever the dog that would run to you, jump on your arms and cuddle. They were both shy. I guess they were born shy, but Bo was always around while Cole was hiding in a corner, looking at you with suspicion and with his adorable, indecisive ears, being adorable but untouchable. They're not puppies anymore. They're reaching adulthood and they couldn't be more different. Cole gets agitated when strangers are around. He stays at a distance, circling you, barking, he just can't tolerate anyone he doesn't know or trust. And when he's forced to come closer, he looks so confused. His brother Bo might be a bit reserved in the beginning, but he has a trusting heart and he just loves spending time with humans. He's like a calm, big teddy bear right there for you to cuddle away endlessly. <laughs> Very cute. Signature uh, <laughs> move. <laughs> Most people would think that any dog who is so afraid of humans has been abused somehow, but that's rarely the case, and those two are living proof. They are proof that we are born with something, something in our genes, something in our souls, something we carry with us from our parents, from a past life or from who knows what. The environment we are brought up in can mold us to a point, but it cannot build us from scratch. We are who we are in the end and we deserve to be loved for who we are, not for who we are expected to be. Hello, I am Valia. If you like the videos, please subscribe and if you can, join me on Patreon and help create more compassionate people. Para la versión del canal en castellano, busquen el enlace abajo.